Hey, what's up guys? I found this game on the Steam Workshop and I decided to go and check it out because it seems like a pretty good game. So, what's not to love about indie games, first of all? It's a point and click game. So, I'm gonna be um, giving you a walkthrough on this game, whether it's worth your money to fund it. Because right now it's at 51% on Kickstarter. I'm gonna show the current number of supporters and uh, the money they have raised so far. I'm gonna give you a walkthrough on the game and see if it's worth your money or not. So, here we go. I already played the game, but for the sake of recording, I'm gonna just give you a walkthrough. So, I'm gonna name this guy up uh, Reed. Forgive me, darling, but I must condemn you to an eternity of oblivion. After night will come day, after winter, spring. But the truth will remain unchanged. A man is a predictable, short-lived creature, and therefore, a weak one. Certainly you can come up with many excuses to justify what you're about to do. Whether it's jealousy, boredom, or arrogance, whatever pushes you to take the decisive step. From this very moment, you will never be free of fear. You might think that this path is the easiest one to take, but I'm all too familiar with darkness, so trust me when I say that in time, it will pull you in so deep, you'll have no other choice but to drown. You have made your decision, and you will pay for it. Now only time will tell if it's already too late for you, Vincent. The question is, what happens next? This is exactly what makes men so weak. In their fleeting vanity, they always seem to fight the wrong demons. Tell me, is this all just a game to you? A source of amusement? Or have you perhaps chosen this path out of necessity? I mean, if you're gonna rob, you're gonna at least rob with necessity, so I guess to survive. <laughs> How interesting. Whatever it is you seek, I hope it was worth it. Assuming you even had a purpose to begin with. Mm. I'm gonna go the depressing route right now. Oh, darling. Your thoughts are yet unfledged. <laughs> but then so are you. Before we finally begin, let me ask you this. If you were given a choice between facing reality with all its hardships and being trapped in a pleasant, everlasting dream, what would you do? Well, then so it shall be. <laughs> <laughs> So here we gotta get out. Come on. The original. The end of Jones style, pretty much. I yeah, they make a reference of it too. Uh those instructions. What uh, did she do to me? Am I dead? Get the log pigs. This doesn't exactly look like purgatory. Where the hell am I? Is anyone there? Um, you talk to this guy. Hello? Uh, Thank goodness. I thought I, I would die here. Oh my God. Can you let me out of this bloody thing? You later know. Yeah, uh, his but it won't name. open without a key. Oh, that's just marvelous. This cuckoo bastard really meant it when he said he wanted to get rid of me. Can you get the key from him, pretty please? 
He should be somewhere near working on this blasted machine of his. So for time's sake, we're just gonna put uh, sure I'll look for it. Sure, I look for it. Hang in there. Yes, thank you. This lunatic should be somewhere around here. You'll easily recognize him. Look for a huge machine made out of junk, but be careful. He's nuts. All right, I'll talk to this guy. So here you um. Moon means a uh, bad guy, and uh, sun means being a good guy. So it's pretty. You can't get more simpler than that. So we're gonna go talk to uh, Harold. Definitely reminds me of someone. Um, do you have a moment? Who are you? I've never seen you before. Did you come from the sky? Did our goddess finally recognize my talent? I. I don't think so. I just want the key that opens that cabinet. Can you give it to me? Then don't waste my precious time! I need to finish the helicopter as soon as possible. But I can't find the rudder. Now, just say, uh, the rudder. Come on, just give me the damn key. Where are your manners? Get out of here! Or I'll make you blow up. Kaboom! I'll get going. Off you go. So, that crazy man pretty much um, is taking the helicopter to um, go to the Queen's Castle, which I think is the, is the person who um, abducted Vincent, pretty much. So. That's the rudder that weirdo needs for his helicopter. Now I need to figure out how to take it away from this creepy bird. Did you just call me creepy? Excuse me? What's with that look on your face? Scared much? Am I really talking to a bird right now? How rude. First of all, I'm not just a bird. I'm a raven, a proud and clever creature from the Corvidae family, so show some respect. It is not my true form, of course, but I lost my human image a long time ago. Okay, I uh, guess I am talking to birds now. Um, so you could ask him anything. Um, we're gonna get straight to the point, and we're gonna ask him I, that he needs that rudder. I need this rudder that you're holding. Why do you need it? Oh, you're going to give it back to that uncultured fanatic, aren't you? I won't give Give it to you. You could just straight up lie right here. And say, um... I won't give it to him. I promise. How dare you lie to me! Get out of my sight! Either way, he won't give it to you. But you gotta go back to the old man, and he will show you right here. That guy what now? Did you finally get my rudder? No, but I found it. Oh, really? Well, where is it then? A huge raven over there has your rudder. Daddy, I knew that pretentious joke of a poet was going to try to interfere with my plan. What are you waiting for? Go get it! You need this rudder, so you go get it yourself. <sighs> you can't rely on anyone these days. Can you? Whatever. Daddy had it coming for him anyway. So, the crazy guy's pretty much gonna go zap. Well, he's not gonna kill the bird, but he's gonna try try to kill the bird, pretty much. So now that he's gone, we could go and um, open the wardrobe to free our friend with the lock pick that <laughs> with the lock pick that we collected right here. So. You gotta pick with the corresponding uh, 
files. Shame. Shame. So here we open it up. Um, so we unscrew these. Break that. Free at last. Nice to see that I was saved by a handsome young man. Together we will be invincible. By the way, I'm Nikolai, but you can call me Nick. And you are? Vincent. All right, Vincent. Shall we start? So you can ask him anything that you want. We're going to uh, get straight to the point. And, um... Call him a lunatic. <laughs> Great. Another lunatic. You didn't have to hurt my feelings like that, you know. Maybe you're not looking for a friend, but I'm proposing something better. A way to escape this place. Let's get out of here and I will answer all your questions. I'm sure you have plenty. I guess I don't have a choice. Fine. Lead the way. So the crazy old man just goes to the dog and uh, leaves. And we go right here to the, tri the cabin station. Nothing you call it there. Oh. He's, yep, he's in How convenient. Down. I hope he didn't need that. Pick it up. You're gonna need that for the, the lever right here. The, the cabin post, the cabin car post. Let's get out of here. This will hold my weight, right? Right, 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 right. Should have left after, 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 after all. You hop on the cabin car. Now, will you tell me what's going on? I'll try to keep it short. You did something to upset Beatrice, didn't you? Well, the thing is that she's an ancient and powerful witch. So she sent you here, to a place where she throws away stuff she doesn't need, or people she can't stand. It exists in some kind of a weird loophole or whatever, so nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. Also, time works differently here, so nobody ever dies. At least not physically, if you know what I mean. So, people don't age here. It's just your soul that gets wrinkled, not your face. That's not too bad. What it, happened? Here you're gonna grab oh, it happens all the time. What do you think boots. this bucket of rocks is here Right for? now it's gonna be boots. Later it's gonna be birds. The thing and is, this place brings out the worst You're about to see the next one. And when they give in to their vices, which we all have plenty of, they begin to transform in different ways. Yeah, I already talked to a bird. Is this why you have ghost legs? Bingo! Some of us get used to the changes, but I don't fancy becoming an actual ghost at all. And the worst part is that you can't predict these things. It just happens, or doesn't. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Because I haven't. Isn't that weird? Maybe they're sacrificing them to some pigeon god. But then, why haven't they all died out? Questions, questions. Old man dies. Sadly. Okay. By the way, what did you do to piss off? I mean, we really don't know if he dies or not. Uh, I tried to steal some fancy necklace from her. Thought she was just a lonely crone with a fortune, the final not an actual witch. Why would you do that? I'm a thief. That's what I do. Well, you better not steal anything here. Don't forget what I told you about this world bringing out the worst in people. That's the weird looking thing. Pretty much a sheep, but this is ridiculous. Come on, these are just sheep. 
How rude. Let's go, Philip. It turns out there. Um, you were saying something about getting out of here. Oh, right. I already told you that nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. But there is, in fact, a way to summon Beatrice and graciously ask her to let us both out. Keep talking. A long time ago, Beatrice left a spell to the first inhabitants of this world, which allowed them to summon her. But humans are greedy bastards, so everybody wanted to have it for themselves. In the end, they tore it into pieces, and each of them took one. Everyone thinks it's just a legend, but I know the spell exists. We just need to get all seven pieces. That's funny! I could have crossed this ravine without the cable car. I keep forgetting that I can fly, you know? No, I don't. All right, so what's the catch? There's no catch! You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason, given my charming nature. Also, my semi-ghost situation keeps getting worse. That's why I need your help. Little opinion here. Are you I in... smelled the cap on this dude right here. I'm I really in. do. I knew you were the one to get me out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever. What? Whateverland! So that's the end of the portal. So yeah, that's the end of the protologue. Nothing much else to be said. Sto I love story with plot, even though this might be a really seemingly simple game. It's nice, it's nice. I like a story with a good plot, and hopefully this does this point. Pretty creative, pretty unique in itself, overall. So yeah, um, thanks for watching then.